Destiny Taurus. And I'm Zach Yeager. And welcome back to another episode of In the News. Destiny, do you like to read? I do, actually. Well, lucky for you, because our library is offering once again a book reading program. Oh, really? Well, let's see what Natalie Medeiros has to say about the program. Hi, I'm Natalie Medeiros with In the News at CHS here with Mrs. Wheaton to explain to us a little bit about our annual book program. So, Mrs. Wheaton, could you tell us a little bit about this program? Sure. It's called the California Young Reader Medal Program. And it's a recreational program where we invite students to come and read um, one, two, or three of all the nominated books for this year. And how long will this program be lasting? This program will last for about two months. It starts uh, January 22nd, and it will go until the last day before spring break. And could you tell us a little bit about the books that are included in this program? Sure, we have three books nominated this year. The first one is Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, which is has a little supernatural and spooky element to it. We also have Eleanor and Park um, by Rainbow Rowell, and this book is a realistic uh, fiction book and a little bit of romance to it. And then our final book this year is called Cinder, and it's kind of a fantasy, dystopian, kind of futuristic book. And why were these three books chosen for this year? Well, these books are selected by a committee um, of teachers and librarians, and every year books are nominated by students and teachers and librarians, and the committee reads all those books, and they determine which of the nominees are the best. So these are the ones that they thought were the best for this year. All right. Thank you, Mrs. Wheaton. You're welcome. And back to you at the studio. Last Wednesday, Mock Trial went to Clovis. The two teams battled with ferocity, and after a close match, Jesenia Medina got an interview with some members of the team. Hi, I'm Jesenia Medina with In the News at CHS here talking to Israel Aldama. So Israel, how did you perform today? Well, I got the MVP award today with, along with our team doing really well. I think we went toe-to-toe -to -toe and Clovis was like the three-time defending champs or something like that. So I think we re did really well. And how do you think the team will perform in future events? I think we'll, I think we'll do great. Um, they looked, our team looked pretty prepared today. So I think, I think if we make playoffs, we'll do really well. Thank you, Israel. And now I'm here with Jalissa Medina. So Jalissa, what's your role in mock trial? I am a attorney for the prosecution. And what's your favorite part about being an attorney? Well, it's really, great, it's really great to experience being an attorney and learning about the justice system and becoming aware of what rights you have as an individual. And you also become more equipped to learning how to speak in front of people, especially in front of a judge. You become really confident in yourself and you learn how to be brave and to be creative with your work and to really, you know, um, use your, your voice to, to, to advance your, your knowledge of any kind of um, law enforcement. And did you perform today? Yes, I did. And I think we did extremely well. I'm really hoping that we won. And I just hope that we continue to try our best to continue on. Thank you. And back to you guys at the studio. Thanks, Jasenia. Unfortunately, Kalinga ended up losing, but they are still going strong. And now we'll head over to Isaac Lucero with this month's Hot Topics. Hi, I'm Isaac Lucero with this month's Hot Topics. <music> 2015 brought a lot of trends in pop culture, and 2016 isn't much different. Today for Hot Topics for you, we got The Dab and DJ Khaled's Key to Success. So let's see what people have to say about them. Alright, so it's the dab. Dab press. Dab. What is that? What's the dab? Yeah. It's like you're coughing. Yeah. Alright, except boom! Imagine that's your name. Dab. Dab. Oh! This is DJ Khaled's key to success. You. I'm the, I'm the key to success. Another one. What is DJ Khaled's key to success? Another one. Another one. Another one. What's DJ Khaled's key to success? To never swim with clothes on. And that was it for this month's Hot Topics. Once again, my name is Isaac Lucero. Back to you guys. Another one. Thanks, Isaac. And now we'll head over to Jonathan Lopez with this week's Horned Toad Highlights. 
Hi, I'm Jonathan Lopez with this week's Point Toad Highlight. And if you don't know, now you know. I'm taking back the Last Friday, boys soccer faced the Tranquility the Tigers in an away game, ending with a close loss of 1-2. By the end of the first half, the two teams were tied neck and neck, 1-1, but the Tigers often managed to score one more point by the time the last minute fell. With this loss, the Toads' record is 7-7. Today, we play a home game against Avenel, who has a record of 8-4. Go out and support your Toads. Last Friday's league match against Tranquility, boys basketball scored a good 66-51 triumph over the Tranquility Tigers. Our top scorers were Yashua Cruz with 21 points and Blake Wong with 15 points. By the end of the second quarter, both teams were close in a score of 30 to 28, but the Toads managed to hold on to their lead until the end of the game. Today, we play against Avenue at home. Good luck, Toads. Dude, perfect. I'm here interviewing Tristan now. So Tristan, what's it like practicing every day with your team? You know, it's just for a team, we get better each and every day at practice. And on Tuesdays and Fridays, it's payday. All right, Tristan, and how intense are you guys' practices? Our practices are pretty intense from start to finish actually. We start off with like shooting and dribbling drills and then we go through like one-on-ones. Then bigs go with bigs, guards go with guards. And we practice on skills that we take to the game. And then we end with shooting and then free throws and then we bring it in to go home. Nice. Okay Tristan, <laughs> if you were in the Hunger Games, who do you think on the basketball team would win? Um, not to brag or anything, but I think it would be me, because, you know, I'm a beast. Alright, sounds good. Thank you, Tristan. You're welcome. And now I'm here with Blake Wong. So, Blake, how is practice like with your team? Practice has been going good. We've been having a, a good stretch of games where we won about, we're about 8-1 in the last 9 games. Oh, nice. So, Blake, what's your favorite bench celebration? Um, my favorite bench celebration has to be after we make a three-pointer, and it goes like this, after we make the three. That's called the Angry Birds. <laughs> All right. And so if you were in the Hunger Games and your basketball team, who do you think would win? I feel like, I think Tristan would probably win because he's the best at making cakes. All right. Thank you, Blake. Girls basketball faced off in an intense home game against Tranquility last Friday. We won with an epic score of 44-28. Today, they will compete against Avenon in an away game. Good luck, ladies. Girls soccer played Tranquility last Friday in a home game. After an intense game, we won with a dominating score of 11-0. Today, they will go against Avenon in a away game. Good luck. Now back to you in the studio. Thanks, Jonathan. And thanks for watching. And remember, if it's important, it's, it's in, in the, the news, news at CHS. CHS.